Elijah level up season seven is Gina. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl A Zinni Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, the practitioners of content creating, skits making, and influencers guild, PCC SIGN, has written a memo to multi choice group, the organizers of Big Brother Niger. On behalf of Fina, yes, they wrote this letter to MultiChoice because of Fina's unpaid winnings. Now, you all know since last week, this has been a topic for discussion. Fina put out a tweet and another tweet where she actually did, you know, um, let us know that all the prizes that she won as the winner of Big Brother Niger season seven was not given to her. Yes, guys. So in respect to that, the PCCSIGN wrote this memo, which I would read. Um, They said, we the practitioners of content creating, skit making and influencers guild PCCSIGN writes to you on behalf of Ijoma Josefina Otabo, known as Fina, a valued member of our guild. Regarding the outstanding debts owed by Quidus Global, that is 1BTC, which is about 70 million naira or so, 7 of bottling company Pepsi, which is one year supply of Pepsi product, Travel Better, which is a trip for two to Dubai, and Advanced Industries Unique Soap, which is one year supply of soap product, which constitutes part of the prizes she won. And as the winner of Big Brother Niger Season 7 Level Up, held from July 23rd to October 2nd, 2022. PCC SIGN is a professional guild representing the interests of its members engaged in content creation skit making and influencing our organization was established with the purpose of serving as an umbrella body dedicated to protecting adhering to and responding to the legitimate legitimate concern of his constituents. We write to solicit your support in facilitating the release of the prizes owed FINA by the aforementioned brands. It is imperative that sponsors of the Big Brother Niger franchise uphold their commitment to the winners of the show. Failure to fulfill promised prizes not only affects poorly on the sponsors, but also undermines the integrity of the show and raises doubts in the public opinion. We urge you to prioritize this matter and collaborate with us to ensure Fina receives the prizes rightfully due to her. We believe that through open communication and mutual cooperation, we can swiftly resolve this issue and uphold the integrity of the Big Brother Niger franchise. We appreciate your attention to this urgent matter and eagerly anticipate your timely response. Please feel free to contact us to discuss potential avenues for resolution. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, they also um, put this out and captioned it and said, this is a young Nigerian woman trying to get what she deserves. I have enough respect for multi-choice DSTV and BB Niger, but it's imperative that sponsors uphold their commitment to the winners of the show. Okay, guys, so that was a long read, but... In summary, basically, they are petitioning the multi-choice group to, you know, um, talk to the sponsors of the season seven to release Fina's winnings to her. Now, as you had, as I was reading it, you can see that the one BTC that was part of her prizes was not given her one year supply of Pepsi. She no see a trip to Dubai, cost you of travel better. She no see that one. One year supply of advanced soap or unique soap. She still no see that one. Like that is so bad. Like when I saw Pepsi there, I was like, oh my goodness, why? Why? I mean, this guy sponsored their trip to South Africa, like almost immediately after the show ended. So why couldn't they just, you know, give her her one year supply of products? It's not that hard. Pepsi is such a big 
company so it shouldn't be that hard for them to do now of course all of these prizes that were listed in you know that letter if you can look at the poster from you know 2022 that they put out for the winners prizes you can see it's written here one year supply of pepsi dubai trip for two courtesy of travel better you can also see the one bitcoin from quivers you can also see you know the other prizes that she was promised now i know nexus gave her the product because immediately fina left the house nexus gave her the products that they promised her I also saw Dano. I also saw the one of Monchit. I can vouch for those ones. They um, Techno also gave her the phone that she was promised. I saw that one. Wow also gave her the product she was promised. I saw that. Of course, Innocent delivered immediately. So what is holding the others from delivering the prizes that she won? Now, when this came out, a lot of people, you know, have diverse opinions. And I'm going to address that in this video. Some people are like, oh, she should have made it clear from the onset you know, that it was um, the brands that are owing her and not Big Brother Niger. And I'm like, are you daft? Go back to what Fina wrote. Yes, I know that Fina might not really be articulate a, a lot of times, you know, or express herself properly, but she basically wrote all her prizes and winnings. And all these things here are not even part of what she won in the house as per tax. This is her prize money, the, all these things contribute to the hundred million naira that, you know, was causing issues here and there that year. So why is it that people just don't want to assimilate when they read? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, number two, those people that are saying, oh, she should have just tackled the brands and, you know, leave Big Brother and multi-choice out of it. Excuse you, who put this out? Big Brother Niger, who put this out? Multi-choice group. How... What contract does she have with Pepsi? What contract does she have with Quinax? What contract does she have with Travel Better? She doesn't have any contract with them. She has a contract with the organizers of the show. And these are all, you know, um, everything that she was supposed to get as a winner. Like, ah, my people, even if you don't like somebody, just say the truth. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Imagine Fina petitioning uh, Pepsi. What? Do they know her? Honestly, do they? Do they have any business with her? They have business with Multi-Choice. And Multi-Choice being a very big corporation ha are the only ones that can actually retrieve those prices. So I don't understand, you know, all these arguments for and against. The bottom line here is this young woman worked her butt off to win the show. Her fans, you know, worked their butt off to make sure that she wins the show. Now, you know, why are they not giving her her complete prizes? What exactly is going on? And Fina is a better human than most of us because she won that show back in, what, 2022? This is 2024. Another show has already gone. These people have hosted, like, how many shows after, you know, that, you know, she won in 2022. They hosted the Titans. They hosted the All-Stars with Niger. They just finished hosting the Big Brother South Africa. So why is her prizes still stolen? Why? Like, you people, DSTV, they always have, like, one-year contracts with this housemate. During that one-year contract, the housemates basically are owned by Big Brother, sort of. You know, they cannot put out some certain statements. They cannot do... It's like an NDA, you know, that kind of a thing. So if the housemates are meant to... Um, respect that contract for a year, why is it that the organizers are not also having that kind of, you know, agreement with the sponsors, making sure that the sponsors, you know, bring all the prizes that they promised these people? These companies are still there. You know, it's really sad. It's really sad. Give somebody what they want. And if, hey, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm just thinking, because... As a winner, if she didn't really get everything, how much more those that did not win and just won prizes as per, you know, tax? Did they also get their winnings? It's not, it's not right. And like these people, you know, in the memo put they put out, I think is the right thing to do. And I love the fact that they said, you know what? This thing is not just about this brand. It's also about the show. Now, another show is going to be starting by June, July, right? And, 
imagine this whole thing. This is bad PR. Now, people are looking at it like, okay, am I sure I'm going to get all my prizes? And, you know, that kind of a thing. So I think that multi-choice should actually go, you know, um, reply this letter and do the needful. Make sure these brands pay off because it's not a good look. It's not a good look on them at all. And like I said in one of my previous videos, they should make sure especially for this new season that's about to start. We all are lovers of Big Brother Niger and we want the show to continue because it's an avenue where stars have been born. You know, it gives a lot of young people platform. It gives a lot of content creators something to talk about. And we would not want the show to go. So I think the best thing for them to do to keep up with their reputation is as you are, you know, Collecting advertising money, whatever, you know, whatever that them and the brands are agreeing on, make sure that everything the brands promise this housemates just they dear. Do you understand? So as the housemates are winning, all their prizes are being sent to them immediately. I know, you know, the cash on the main prize, the cash price can take, you know, some few days or weeks because of the banking system and taxing and all of that. That one day. But what of the other ones, you know, all those um, products? It's not that hard to supply it to the person. Snap it, do video with the person and the person acknowledge that they have received it. That's my own two cents on this matter. Oh. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. So on that note, I'd like to say every big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way, again i remain your darling girl is in williams